Hey guys, it's Woody Mark here, coming with a brand new video, and this is my Road to 100 Goals, where we try to get Luke Remy to 100 Goals, and at the same time, we try to get to the highest division possible. But as you see, we have bought Fernandinho, and we sold Fair in the next episode. I think I'm going to buy an attacking midfielder, or maybe another central midfielder to replace Fabregas, as he seems like the weak link at the moment. He isn't that good, however, I'm... Reviewing everything right now, all the teams and that, as after this episode we have an okay coin total, so we'll have some manoeuvre and all of that, but Diaby kind of gets taken out there, but Benzema on the ball, this guy actually had a rather good side, good 4-3-3 side, seemed to work quite well together, but Fernandinho on the ball into Diaby, back to Fernandinho, he shoots and... Diaby's in the right position and shoots to make it to one goal to nil. Now, Diaby is a lot better than Leroy Fair, in my opinion. So, yeah, I would say sign him instead. He's a very, very good player. Even if he doesn't score that many goals, which he can be on and off with, he will still do some good defensive work for you. But Remy on the ball, finesses it into the corner. Goal number 59. We're almost at that 60 mark and... We seem to score a lot of goals in this series, so technically I'm hoping this series, well, it can go, it'll probably go on for another 15 episodes or so. This is episode 17, however, I will be doing more cup matches in the future, but we'll try to last seasons as long as possible. However, I don't want the series to die just because I'm bad at the game, lol. But Coleman on the ball crosses it in and Remy scores a header to make it goal number 60. So, a little bit of a milestone, 40 more to go. And when recording this, I was like, 60 goals, that's actually a good amount. Like, we're actually getting there. It'll be over before we know it because if we score like... Let's say 5 in the next episode, we're close to 70, and it's like, whoa, we're getting down to the last quarter. So, yeah, we are doing really, really well, and using the French team, I think I might have been FK a little bit, so there's me returning. But, yeah, the French team, I, I don't know what to think of the French team right now, to be honest. I don't think it's that great. So, one day I might create a hybrid of some kind, but this guy had team of the year. Idinesta and Cruz. So I automatically knew I had to defend well because if they got given any kind of space, they could do damage. However, if you notice, his three midfielders were actually quite attacking, but that was like, honestly, it, even though there was probably better goals, that was my favourite goal in this episode because it was well worked, like really clever movement by Rami. Well, by me with the sprint mechanic because he thought I was going straight forward and I didn't. And just got the time and space to score. But his, um, you'll see what I mean about giving him maybe a bit too much space. But because the way Cruz and um, Inesta are, they're probably two of the best dribblers on the game now. So it's quite tough to get the ball off them. But I got the tackle in there. And he got a good tackle into that. But as you can see, he's very, very good on the ball like very like in and out in and out and yeah it just turns and dribbles really well i did go for the tackle however my player was just a fraction off but matuidi's very good by the way he really really goes for the ball and like closes down really quickly good attacking wise as well but that is one all and um team wise when i go through it valblena is actually pretty good and another weakness is Diego Gooden, but like I said, it's scoring good amount of goals. Again, I've got to show him and Welbeck stats for you guys. I'll try to remember to do that in the next episode, but I will do it in the future. I will guarantee that because one day I'll be like, look, and ooh, scored a good amount of goals there. And But yeah, Gooden doesn't have that much pace, but I don't remember him being 84 rated, so I don't know if he's got an upgrade or not. Don't think he has, but... You guys probably didn't expect a penalty, and I got a red card for it, but luckily I only get banned for one game, so I don't mind getting a red card, to be honest, only currently in the game, but Benzema, well, Cruz taking the penalty, so he actually ends up scoring two, and they need to make those penalties so keepers have AI, because literally you can move slightly to the side and still get the ball, to be honest, like, it, it was... 
almost arm's reach, to be honest. So they need to make that because it is a poor penalty. But Remy on the ball, he was slightly AFK here, but here he suddenly returns and I shoot and double deflection into the net. And I'm like, always like, yes, yes. And no, I wasn't like that. Don't worry. Don't worry. But that is going to be the end of that game. And this bit, for some reason, I didn't fast forward. So I do apologize, but you get to see everything in detail. Remy scoring one, Albania getting two assists there, and 7,400 coins come in. And as you can see by the stats, it was quite even, but I deserve to win. And we won the title. Anyway, maybe I should slow it down in the future when key things come up like that. As it's probably good for you guys to see that. But parents, he banned first time on this account. I've had a suspended player. Don't get red cards much. I don't tend to slide tackle. I used to play with a mate a lot where every time I slide tackle, he would turn around and he would get a free kick for it. So I almost... When playing on Lime Fever, I was almost brought up thinking, okay, you cannot slide tackle. But as you see, I saw a lot of um, odd connections and yeah, um, kick changes. Some people are dodgy like that. But here this guy had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good players. Not the greatest chemistry, but his players were so good that his team was already that good, to be honest. And... Aubameyang on the ball, crosses it in. I clear it out, but honestly, it was a horrific clearance. I put enough power on it, yet it didn't go over Robin. It was almost like a pass to Robin, and yeah, that was annoying. Like, they need to work on the power bar in this game. They changed it dramatically, but I honestly feel it's a mistake. But good header by Remy, goal number 62. Really good header, actually. Two headed goals by Luke Remy, and I don't score headed goals in these in this game. I used to in other games, but not anymore. Headed goals just aren't my thing anymore. Um, but trapped on the ball. Um, tried to do a fake shot, but saw fails. There, I probably shouldn't skill as much, but yeah. Honestly, you, you kind of. I think he knew that was a lucky goal, so I'll actually give fair play to this guy for being like, oh, sorry, because I'm certain he did that nicely, which is nice for it, nice enough, but, oh, that's two goals where I felt, is is that really fair? Is that really, really fair? And the answer's probably, eh, -eh. and, yeah, he gets a throw in here, and, Oh dear, Luke Remy on the ball into Trapped. And again, I lose it with Trapped again. That's two times in a row. Looking in detail. Now here I tackle him, Abamyang. Um, fake shots and finesses into his corner. And that is a lovely finish. However, based on skill, I did tackle him. And he got the luck. Which is what I don't like about FIFA. A lot of it is luck based. Which annoys me a lot. Like, obviously, I could have done better when he was in the box, as always, but honestly, I was very, very unlucky. But that is how the game ends. It finishes three goals to one. Pretty good result for him and Kli Kli. Uh, but we are back with the French team, and any bar it's um, two latency or lower, it's impossible. I think it only goes up to three latency. I think it used to be you could go four. But you never get four. Which just shows how bad the servers were. And, and this was a really, really tight game. This guy defended very well. Unfortunately, I would say... Oh no, in the other game I had really good chances. I was quite unlucky. I think I hit the post twice. But Remy on the ball does a good finish into the corner. I think I did a little bit of skill there or something. I, I just, no, I got a bit lucky, I got a bit lucky, but that's okay, goal number 63, Eugene Uri. and here he brought on Rodrigo, and um, I tackle him twice, get the ball back, so that's okay, Griezmann, okay, honestly, looking back on it, that was a poor pass by me, and again, mm, maybe could have got that tackle there, over top through ball, but honestly, 
apart from losing the ball, I can't complain too much. It was good vision by him. I couldn't have done much. Good goal. Like, apart from me being poor and losing the ball like twice in a row, in a way I kind of deserved that. But the way I the way I try to play at times is I try to get space with the attacking midfielder. So here I'll probably lose it with Matuidi or someone, just because it's a way I kind of like to play and I tend to lose the ball in pretty bad spots, which um, shoots me in the foot. And here, very, very unlucky. And again, very unlucky. And that was a poor clearance. I'll 100% admit that. However, I do do a very, very good block there, actually. And crosses it in. And keeper. Like, it's around three goals that I've had. Which have been like. But that's going to be the end of the video. Hit like, subscribe, and subscribe to my dude, Sir Agamon, Simorizing, Woody Mark Mafia. See you guys!